Hey everybody, welcome back to the Outer Worlds. Uh, upon closer investigation of this quest, this actually just leads us back to our ship. So I did go there, but that's not something we want to do. We don't want to leave to go to acquire this weapon. So looking deeper here, it just says mention looking in Gladys's shop for old records. And I realize that if we talk to her, she does have quest items. It's almost time for today's episode of the Chairman's Children. <laughs> Care to listen with me? I don't know, Gladys. Um, let's look in here to see what she has to trade. Copper kettle off that girl who runs the pub. She's a fierce arm wrestler, but she's no match for your pal Gladys. And we'll actually, and this is something I need to get in the habit of, is going to the quest section to buy things. So we have an old data pad one to by the Groundbreakers Mardet. Security forces from the accumulated dust and grime it hasn't been accessed in over a decade. So we will buy this. The old data pad contains incident reports from various Mardet security or patrols. Most are details of simple fines and dust ups between the crews of Wildcat freighters and corporate haulers. Two entries have been marked for later review. August 7th, 2344, responded to a code ID10T. Identity? Get it? At the Lost Hope. Vera asked us to bounce some back bay rat that got himself soaked in spectrum red. Drunken fool got into a scuffle with one of the engineer Tennyson's people. We tossed the rugger leech back down to the bays. Asshole fought us the entire way, telling us we'd be sorry once he controlled the hammer's power. This is some new hammersmith marketing stunt. I'm complaining to Sanita. October 25th, had another run-in with the Rungle Leech from the Last Hope, or Lost Hope. Don't know how the uppity piker crawled out of the back bays without us noticing. Locked himself in the repair bay off on docking slip 13 and refused to come out. Kept raving about the weapon's chaotic beauty or some shit while we were trying to talk him out. Had to break off when our shift ended. Hull heads gotta come out eventually. So we'll take this. I'm also gonna buy this thing. It's an archive cartridge. Can be viewed using the captain's terminal on the unreliable. So done. Both of those are bought. Okay, so acquire, review the Hyphestus mining. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff here now. So it appears that we are on the right track. A data cartridge acquired from Gladys on Groundbreaker may have clues to another science weapons location. Use the captain's terminal on the unreliable to review the data archive. Okay. Let's do this. And I'm hoping that this leads us to the weapon that's on Groundbreaker. Because we're here. But if it doesn't... Our lives are predestined upon a path that is only visible in retrospect. If I could have predicted my life path would lead to prison and thus avoided it, wouldn't I have done so? And even if I had, it still would have been unavoidable. Like that time I warned you about the giant pile of raptodon shit and you stepped in it anyway. Okay, Vicar, I get it. Uh, that's right, our ship's on lockdown. Hey there, you mind stepping back? This oh, damn little it. ship's been impounded, and I'm afraid I can't let you near it. That's right. It's not. That's right. We can't even go on there. Man, does it seem hot in here to you? I ain't felt so much as a tepid breeze in weeks. Yeah, seriously. I hope Miss Chief Tennyson gets that fixed soon. Okay. Well, it doesn't smell as bad here as Edgewater's graveyard in high summer, so I guess I can't complain. Either way, let's not stick around so long. We all roast alive. No offense, Miss Elson. I'm. Sure, whatever critical problem needs fixing will get patched in time. Oh, I'm starting to feel like a sisty roast in all this armor. <laughs> oh, not a sisty roast. Okay. Have yourself a pleasant day. You too, Jane. You too. Notice a ship impound. We posted to inform the captain and crew of the unreliable that has impounded by Groundbreaker Security and Customs on behalf of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation. Any inquiries related to this vessel and status should be made to one Udom Bedford in the Halcyon office found on the promenade. Okay, new plan. New plan. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to talk to Udom Bedford. And then we'll start dabbling and trying to figure out everything else. Because, well, that's how we do things. This reminds me of, like, uh, like Las Vegas. That's what this reminds me of. We got Bell's Shells. Bell's Shells. 
You know that sound when you've snapped on an injector clip? Oh, do I? <sighs> That's how you know your weapon loves you back. Love when my love. I got my a full line of weapon, weapon modifications me. I'd be happy to show you. So these guys. We have all these like specialist shops. Value to weight ratio. The most expensive thing in here is an exacto site. Bunch of weapon mods and weapons themselves, grenade launchers. I imagine that every place in here is going to be some type of specialty. Waste disposal. That's what I think it is. We can pick our way in here. I was wondering what they do with their waste. Is you were really? <laughs> I don't know why we got slow mode there, but that's beautiful. There's some stuff down here. Uh, how about I stay up top? You know, keep watch. Yeah, yeah, do that. Cigarette lighters, bit cart. Oh, oh, oh. Steve door. Crumpled instructions. Frankie got a lead in some local salvage. One of the groundbreakers' old hangars was bricked over until someone found it by poking around the Steve door's quarters. Lilia gave us the go ahead to plant her flag once we clear out of the new arrivals. I'm sending you to scout. Look for a loose panel. You got to climb on top of their bunks and head towards the back wall. Leah says we should watch our back. She thinks we've been tailed. In other words, typical Lilia. Wait, what? Isn't this the... Was that not the name of the guy that we saw outside? Okay, I don't know where this is going. Great work. Thanks. That's the last of them. Don't worry, guys, I got him. What in the hell have we stumbled into here? Oh, hello. Is this... Oh, heavy machine gun? 400 DPS? Light machine gun, see ya. This does use heavy uh, ammo, which we're going to plow through, but that's impressive. But I, I have to wonder, am I going to get in trouble if I come out here? Oh, <laughs> okay. So that is, that's her place. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. I want to talk to that guy who is outside of these two areas. We'll check where this leads to, because based on that note, I'm not sure what to put I together there. Rude, Mr. Vicker, but I already got that. I don't need a new one. Are you saying my advice is unwanted? I'm saying it's not very good. Look at this, man. Well, what is a manta? What is this? Here we go. A manta pillar. Never anger a man of the cloth. Oh, sick! I love it. Engineer. I wonder we've we've stumbled onto something that probably maybe we'll, we would have found something later. And then this connects back down here, but it also goes out this way. Look at this. How cool. Man, this kind of makes me reconsider other things that we should be checking out. Like,
Like, look at this. Kinematic shield projector. When your health drops too low, this mod makes you temporarily invulnerable and increases your regen. Oh, yes, please. A gyro sight. Sight increases weapon accuracy. Range weapon spread minus 20%. What? What? Okay, so I can't go any, like, I can't go any further here. It's blocking me, but that's cool. Well, it pays to explore. But now I want to talk to the guy that was sitting Step out there lively, because... Ms. Holcomb. I'm not winded. Honest. My, uh, boot was untied. Would hate for you to get left behind. Or okay, you two. Bid, become lost. Yeah, see Steve door. If it wasn't for us, this whole damn station would shut down. Mechanicals all over, but they still got us sweating to move boxes. So this is like a, a title more than anything, right? Uh, logs, crumpled instructions. Ilya. Yeah, okay. So the old hangers. One of the groundbreakers' old hangers bricked over until someone found it by poking around the Steve Door's quarters. Lilia gave us the go-ahead to plant her flag once we clear out the new arrivals. I'm sending you to scout. Look for a loose panel. You gotta climb on top of their bunks, head towards the back wall. Lilia says we should wash our backs. So I'm not sure what to make of that, but... These Steve Doors must be like a... I don't know what kind of group. We got Mardettes, we got Steve Doors... Rest and go. A medical bay. Let's just check this out. Are you listening to me? You can't get me out of there. Okay. Please don't make a scene, Doctor Fenhill. I am not making a scene. She's not making a scene, Doctor Furu. What seems to be the problem? I I don't know. Do you sell things? Not without dispensation from Chief Jun Lei, I fear. Makes sense. Supplies are hard to come by out here. How do you mean? We don't have the ability to manufacture our own medical supplies here on Groundbreaker. Regrettably, we are dependent on the board for such mundane items as bandages and antibiotics, as well as more critical resources like adequately trained staff. I feel you. We nearly signed a supply agreement with Anticleos, but they demanded we only use their branded drugs, and that's simply not tenable. Anti-generic brands. Okay. Take care. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? Well, see, Umfuru, we could have avoided Umfuru. all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Who's Jesse? What's this about your friend? Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? Okay. As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Hmm. So you don't even like her, but why, like, why do you owe her? You say that like it's weird. Well, okay. I mean, it's just very noble. It is most certainly not. And watch where you go saying that, okay? You're going to give people the wrong idea. Right, you're a hard ass. Got it. I just it. don't like to leave a debt unpaid. That's all. Um, do you want me to look in there? Be my guest. If you know something I huh. don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy... I'll be impressed. Okay, sure. Something I can help you with? Gotta see a patient, Jesse Doyle. If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Ms. Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount. So no, you may not see her. Hmm. Ah, there we go. The records say? Have you actually spoken to her yourself? She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records, if that's what you're implying. Okay. Take care. There's probably other ways. So I'm what, like... Hmm. Let's see.
Are we cool to just walk around in here? Ah, restricted. Okay, okay, okay. You found an ID cartridge to use with the holographic shroud. You'll automatically disguise when entering the associated restricted area. But that's a Mardet thing. So... How do we know, like, is that cool here? I'm guessing... Maybe the Mardets would have access anywhere? Holographic disguise activated. Your holographic holographic shroud has activated, giving you temporary access to this restricted area. Moving drains the shroud's energy. When it runs out, personnel will see you and interrogate you. Talk your way out of the interrogation to reset your shroud. It will get harder to talk your way out the more you're interrogated. Okay. Okay, we're just we're just being normal. You can see the timer near the bottom. Ever wonder if maybe folks keep doors closed for a Listen, Jesse. Ellie sent me. What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need <laughs> for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful, sick is all. Oh yeah, you I seem like it. Quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. But I'll be fine so long as I'm left alone. <laughs> uh, we're gonna need you to open this door right now. If I don't rue the day I saved her scrawny little hide. Inadvertently, I befriended a bloodhound in the process. All right, okay. We can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've got to do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying <laughs> I have no idea what you we're... You ain't with the board, are you? No, I'm not. See, I owe them a lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So I hold up here to lay low. Wait, so... What did you do that got you in trouble? What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Well, then... Wh like, just tell me what's going on. You'd let a poor, ill woman get disappeared by the board? Awfully cold-blooded of you. Though I admire your backbone. All right, I'll fess this part up too, if it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the blood tear diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. Lost heiress on the Hope? So, you stole it, this blood tear diamond. If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the med bay? I don't know. I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer. He paid half oh. up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond. And it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life, and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. Okay, so... Where does Ellie come into play? Udon Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. I mean, I... I guess. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? Huh. You're sure no one followed you? Is it all clear, or am I still a wanted woman? No, oh, you're still wanted. I haven't done anything. But why does Ellie think she owes you? Huh. Oh, you should ask her that. She'll love it. By which I mean she'll probably have an apoplectic fit. <laughs> okay. She's pretty em emphatic that you two aren't friends, so what exactly is happening? Oh, that's just how Ellie is. 
According to her, she don't need no one or anything to get by in life. Oh. She can deny it all she wants, but we know each other. More than just as passing acquaintances. We've helped each other. Sometimes we even like each so other. So she's probably Long also a thief. Don't live too long, and yeah. weak to have a friend or two. Gotcha. Okay. Well, um I don't know if that thing runs out as we're talking. That is a really interesting system and I wonder now like is there a way that we can track what type of these things we have? Yes, ID cartridge here. Okay. That's cool. Any word on Jesse? Kind of. So, she's in debt to the board and thinks someone's after her. I'm going to go handle it. Good luck. The board's got an office on the promenade just before engineering. You can't miss it. Yeah, yeah. You got it. I'm going to go talk to Udon. So, based on how we found that little thing sitting up there, um, we need to keep our eyes open for stuff like that. I need to find a... Antium, you gold-plated bastards. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are board property. Disperse now, or I'll detain you for trespassing. Ah, the board. Organized, efficient, competent. Well, mostly. For the following I think everything in here is worth more than I made in my whole life. <laughs> Scheduled to air soon. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable. A vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. Wheeler's the customs guy? And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Scruffy freelancer. Um, listen, he's dead. Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? I'm sorry, man. Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. What was your relationship like? He was my dearest friend. My only friend. Oh. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Uh, <laughs> uh yep. He, yes, he did. Definitely 100%. Ah, oh, that's just like him. Such a sentimental man. Seems like Tell it. Tell me, how did he die? Well, uh... I'm, you know, there's no good way to say this, Udom, but he was eaten alive by feral canids. No! Yes. How dreadful. That was always Alex's greatest fear, you know. Devoured by those fiends. Becoming one with their... <laughs> their droppings oh boy look man uh i'm really sorry but i have a few questions right right you're going important places i'm sure big exciting important places not if you keep my ship there, impounded i've removed the flag from your ship i'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience that's it uh, however before you go alex promised to tell me the location of phineas wells i'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony did alex tell you where wells might be anything at all no no nothing nope uh why why is the board so interested in wells you haven't read the posters he's a terrorist a thief a madman it's really in the colony's best interest that we stop him before he does further harm and why do you think that i would know anything about this guy well alex knew or he said he did and you have his ship Maybe he kept some records around or nope. a, a conveniently placed note on his bedside table. Nope, nothing like that at all. No, nope. Alex never mentioned him. That's, uh, well, that's just terrible news. Law, oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? 
Um. Hmm. What's this about the board having your head? I'm hesitant to tell him about Phineas Wells, obviously. So I don't know if we should dabble in that, but... It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. I excel in personal business. Stop playing coy, Bedford. I don't intend to be. It's just a matter of trust. Well, how can I win your trust? Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. God. It's... well, it's my white whale, I suppose. Ah! Uh. <laughs> well... Okay. What? I'll tell you. <laughs> Wells? I meant smells. It really smells in here. Maybe. Said you were looking for Phineas, and I know where he is. Before I get down to Phineas, I need to be sure I can trust you. Yes. All right. I suppose. Uh, how might I assuage your fears? Okay, I guess. Why do you work for the board? Whom else would I work for? Those sublight thugs? That Tennyson woman? The sweaty masses in the groundside townships? The board is the only force for order in this rough-and-tumble colony of ours. Without them, we'd all starve to death or meet our end in a canid's jaws. Do you enjoy working for them? That's a curious question. I can't say I've ever considered how my personal satisfaction factors into the work I do. Typical. Permit me to answer your question in another way. In Byzantium, I was one among many. I often felt uh, lost in the hurry and expanse of the capital. Here, I have a measure of power and suffer little oversight. It makes for a different kind of loneliness, but... It's one I've found I can endure. Hmm. Still doesn't really tell me why I should trust you. I understand. And I would ask the same of you, but I suspect... Well, I suspect I'd find your answers less than satisfactory, wouldn't I? Probably correct, Bedford. I don't know how to answer that. Now you see my predicament. So let's move on. Tell me how you know of Phineas. The thing is... I'm sorry? I'm I'm quite certain I heard Wells. Phineas Wells. No, no. Smells. Phineas smells? Not a very nice thing to say about somebody. But you... It's always like this with you tramp freighter captains. Oh, Captain, be nice. Captain, stop pulling the man's leg. Okay, guys. Yes, please do. I have a fragile constitution, I'll have you know. And this runaround is like to give me a cold. On second thought, maybe you should be mean to him just the littlest bit. I recant my earlier statement. You guys! Mr. Bedford deserves what he gets. That doesn't but help me. I've met circus sprats possessed of better manners. Uh, well, once you've tired of your jokes, you know where to find me. Okay. What I will do... How do you do? ...is talk to him about... Huh. How might I assist you? Those thieves. Uh, Jesse Doyle. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. <laughs> Persuade and dumb. Can't she just work for you until she earns back what she owes? I believe the captain is proposing an indenture contract. No, I didn't say anything about her teeth. She's going to be worth more alive than dead indenture. That's not unreasonable. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but... I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt, and the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? Well, I honestly don't know. Uh, I don't think she has much choice, to be fair. I quite concur. It's refreshing to deal with someone practical for a change. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? No, I think we're good. Okay, so there's a couple of things that we need to sort out here. We need to go back and talk to Ellie. I'm just seeing if there's anything related to him. I'm, I'm hesitant. So, like, Phineas, yeah, he's a wanted criminal. Okay, I get it. But also, he did help us 
probably for his own benefit, but still. Um, it's a tough call. I don't know. I don't know if we should just be like, yeah, I know where he is. <laughs> so we'll have to see. Anyways, let's take a break here. When we come back, uh, we can go and let Ellie know about what's going on. And then we have engineering over there that we want to check out. There's a few people there to talk to. And uh, likely a few other things to dabble in before we leave this area. So we'll see you soon. Bye for now.